In our previous class, we had seen how to make use of dialog component that is to show the popped up screen something like this on click of the button it will launch and click of the button it will be closed. Similar like dialog, there is one more component which we can make use while building the implementations with Visual Builder application that is the drawer. If you closely observe, there are few layout over here that is the drawer layout and there are few Redwood patterns within them. What I will do is, I will drag and drop this drawer pop up over here. So it will tell from where the edge has to start and start bottom. So by default drawer pop up doesn't have anything. We have to just drop the general drawer template within this drawer pop up. So now we can go to the drawer pop up and tell we have to show on the end start and the bottom. Now like in the case of dialog, the drawer will not be also visible by default. We have to temporarily override. For example, select mark this, open. So always when this page opens, this dialog will or the drawer will be popped up from bottom. So we are selecting edge from bottom. If we tell start, it will come something like this. If we tell edge, then the drawer will come on the end. Suppose if you want to temporarily override, that is for the development purpose, then we can do like this. Now within the drawer, we can put the table component, input text component, what and all implementation you want to do, you can do it over here like this. You can add the table. If you want to add the button, you can do the add the button as well like this. Yeah, it has added the button. Even you can style this by adding the toolbar. You can add n number of buttons. And also this is having a close over here. By default, it is not closing like the dialog. So we have to write some logic in order to open and close this drawer. Just select this drawer pop up and we will tell temporarily or write off. Now if you closely observe over here, open, we can make it associated with some variable. So what we will do is we will create one boolean variable that is with the name drawer flag and I will make this as type as boolean and default value is false. Now this I'm going to attach to this open attribute that is like this. So by default our drawer flag is false. It is not opening the drawer. Now what we will do is on click of this submit button we will open the drawer. So what we will do is we will select this Redwood template. Go to the events. Go over here. Select this component. And we can delete this. We don't want to open the dialog this time. Rather, we want to just toggle the flag that is to open the drawer. Select this and make this true. Go back to the page designer, switch over to the live mode and click on submit. So by clicking on submit button, it is opening the drawer or setting the flag to true, which in turn is associated with the open attribute. It is opening the drawer like this. Now on click of X, it has to close. Now it is not happening. Just select this drawer. Go to the event listener. It is having OJSP. Close. Select this. Here we have to toggle that flag back. That is, we have to make this false. So this is the manual thing we have to do, unlike the dialog. Let me switch over to the line mode. Click on submit. It has opened the drawer. Click on X. It will now close. So like this, we can make use of drawer component in Visual Builder application.